So when you use the Angular command line interface to generate an Angular project, by default, it's going to set the project up to work with standard CSS. So if we run or at least type it out, I'm not actually going to execute this, ng new your project name and hit enter, you'll see that by default, it will set up the project just to work with straight up normal CSS. Now, if you wanted to set it up so that you can use the power of SAS, then we add the hyphen hyphen style equals and bind it to SAS or SCSS. And then when you hit enter, it's going to structure the project to work with SAS, which is a preprocessor, which has a lot of different handy features that standard CSS simply doesn't have. So if you're working with a bigger project, you can use SCSS, which I personally like to use, and it will help your CSS code as you're writing along. Now we already started a project from this free Angular 4 course, so I'm just going to CD into it. And then I'm going to run ng-serve. Okay, so this is the code that we had from the previous lesson that we've been working on. And I'm just going to quickly get rid of everything in the template. And we don't need this event down here as well. Okay, so when you use the Angular command line interface to generate a project, by default, it will set up your components to work with external CSS style sheets. So whether you're using inline or external CSS, they're both defined within the component decorator right here. Okay, so an external style sheet is defined within the style URLs property right here. And as you can see, it's linking to a specific file called app.component.css. And this is what the command line interface generates. And by default, it's just blank. This is where all your CSS rule sets will go. All right, so I, this way, all the CSS that is specific to this component's template will be placed in that file. So it's useful when you're dealing with a lot of CSS and you don't want your CSS cluttering your component code. Now, should you prefer to write inline CSS within the component decorator itself, you have to change the style URLs property to styles. And then we can remove this right here. And if we want to run or allow ourselves to write multi-line CSS, we use backticks, which is the tilde key. And then our CSS rule sets will go right here. So we'll create one for H1. We'll make this text decoration underline. And also we need to designate an actual H1 tag up here in the template. And we'll make this hello. And we'll save it. And there we go. We can see that it is underlined. So again, to recap, like HTML, you can choose to write your CSS inline through the styles property, but it's usually best to keep your CSS in an external style sheet so that things are kept more organized, especially when you have a decent amount of CSS rule sets. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at class binding.